14,470 pounds. This is the new 37 front living windshield pinnacle here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a, a slight update to the very popular 38 FLSA that was out there. Uh, the only real significant difference is just the inclusion of that windshield up front. If you'd like to learn uh, more about this, such as tanks and, and specs and capacities and obviously price tag, you're probably going to want to know that at some point if you're interested. You can get all of that. You're one click away. Uh, all you have to do is click the link in the video description that says check for price and availability. And that will whisk you away through the internet to our website where we have all that information published. We like to make that very easily accessible for those who are interested, um, but I try not to bore people with like just hard reading a spec sheet, you know, through these video tours. So the uh, Pinnacle, it is a true class above. There's a lot of things here you don't typically find in the business. It's a lot of um, uh, upgrade glitz glitter, but it's a lot of really sharp stuff too. If you're looking for something for like long-term full-time use, this should definitely be on the short list. Um, there we go, get the sun out of the way here so you can get a nice look at that uh, painted front cap. Um, the industry doesn't typically build at this level. Um, most fifth wheels stop at the, the level of the Jayco North Point or the Montana. Um, by Keystone, both of which we carry here at Halet RV. This is a rare, true class above. And I'm, uh, that's why I want to put these videos together, uh, to help understand the differences between those. Um, most of the industry, again, stops at the level of North Point. They don't go to this extent. So what's different about it? Well, this has the largest front storage of any fifth wheel out there. You can actually have room for up to six batteries. You can see it's gen prepped. You get that extra storage shelf above. It's all those extra things they've done here. Um, any Jayco always benefits from uh, the best full coverage warranty in the business. You know, they have a full two-year um, hitch to bumper coverage on this, which is something that is very rarely matched out there. Um, you've got the Jayco, five, well, the, the luxury Jayco anyway, five-star handling package. It starts with that more ride shock dampening pin box up front. Then we go to the um, rubberized uh, uh, shackle system where the uh, you know suspension is married up with the chassis. We've got a more ride suspension system, the bigger 16-inch uh, G-rated uh, endurance Goodyear radial tires. Um, something else, I'm missing another component in that package, but you get the idea. They make this thing, I mean, it, this is a big behemoth. It, they have to make it handle and ride nicely or else you're not going to have a good time going down the road. Now they've done something very different with their front windshield on this and it's actually something that for which I really respect Jayco. Um, Jayco recognized there's a huge trend. People are wanting front windshields in their RVs. But they, they, they tried to do a couple and it wasn't working. They were finding that it was not passing their quality test. So before it went out to a customer, their internal testing found that their methods were not sufficient. So they said, you know what? We build nice RVs, but we're not windshield people because there's a difference between a windshield and a window. So what they did is they contacted their cap supplier. They said, wait a minute, you guys do caps and other things. Um, do you do windshields? They went, yeah. So the windshield actually comes pre-installed in the cap to Jayco from the cap supplier, which is really cool because now you have a dedicated specialized professional handling that as opposed to uh, an RV line worker, which doesn't mean that those guys are unskilled or bad or anything. It just means that now you've got uh, extreme precision and uh, you know knowledge going into this. Now here's a big deal on the, the, the pinnacles is that this is wide body. This is a full 102 wide body. And notice how even the skirting curls around to meet the I-beams here. So there's no insulation gaps on this. And that's why pinnacles have had uh, some of the best insulative uh, qualities and ratings, tested proven ratings in the business for many years. Here's another area where again, they took it uh, another step above, is instead of 20 or 30 pound tanks, you're looking at 40s. And what you're not seeing is there's an additional 40 pound tank on the other side. This has 120 pounds of propane capacity, which is I, like easily double what you typically find even in luxury fifth wheels. This is way above and beyond, guys. So if you are going to like, hey, I, I wanna live in this thing in the winter, well, you know what? You don't have to go every single week or every other day to get your propane swapped out. You know, you'll be able to handle it here. Um, you know, fully enclosed, privatized, heated, protected docking station. You saw the pass-through storage uh, as I was yakking earlier with the, the centralized vacuum. You got your TV hookups in here. Uh, instead of carpet, you have a, a rubberized flooring so that, you know, you don't get um, 
moldy mildew buildup or anything like that. This this has everything, like a, uh, a larger water heater for extended use. We have all LED exterior lighting, not just tail lights, but all LED exterior lighting. Uh, so that you understand how important that is, at 60 mile an hour, when you hit the brakes, LED tail lights flash that much faster. But at 60 miles an hour, that gives the person behind you up to five feet of additional stopping time. And notice that they have five stopping brake lights back here instead of the traditional two. They make sure the guy behind you can see that you're coming down to speed, or from speed, rather. So, I mentioned the bigger 16-inch Goodyear Endurance radial tires. This has the, the new Thetford uh, Santacon um, black tank, uh, like, power exhaust system. <laughs> and one of my personal customers lovingly refers to this as the turbo crapper, which is really funny, and I like that he has a sense of humor about it, but it's it's actually literally a power exhaust. It has a macerator that will break down any solid mass, and the power exhaust can actually push your um, uh, black tank exhaust up 15 feet. So, I mean, it can actually go uphill a little bit to help that. Now, this has uh, um, a self-contained 50 amp power cable, and it's actually on a power um, recoil. So, you, you can pull it out, but you can hit the power extend button, so you don't have to manhandle that big 50 amp cord. It also has a power retract, which is a big deal, because again, those 50 amp cords are heavy. We've got our full high gloss exterior on here. Uh, we've got the Jayco Magnum Truss XL6 roof system in place. You've got twin um, arched inside outside, six inch arched uh, uh, trusses going on here. What that means is there's no like insulation gaps where the roof meets the sidewall. Now this has uh, like a motorhome rear cap on it, which is pretty impressive. The, the roof, of course, you can walk all over it. We have uh, dual centralized AC on this. It's dual whisper quiet. So whether you're upstairs in the living room, you're in the, the rear bedroom, you're in the kitchen, when the air kicks on, you're not going to have to shout over the air to be heard by the person next to you. Um, Six-point automatic leveling. We've got the, the newer um, zero-gravity Moride uh, sturdy step type system here. These things are awesome. You can literally just jump stomp on these things. They don't go anywhere. And you can uh, adjust the feet on these to fit any campsite. If uh, I've had someone say, yeah, but what if the campsite's uneven? These can be adjusted so severely that uh, you wouldn't be able to even park the RV on a site to, to, to marry up how crazy you can adjust those feet for separation. Now, both front and rear doors have the larger entry handle with a nice easy grab on it. Both front and rear doors have keyless entry deadbolt systems on it. So if you're going to go kayaking or biking, you don't have to risk leaving your uh, keys at home. Also, you notice that this door doesn't go to the bedroom. It goes to the hallway for easy bathroom access, which makes this very traveling friendly. It's also very nice if you have guests outside. They don't have to go traipsing through your entire coach to get there. Um, the uh, let's, let's look at the zero gravity system here real quick. So you want to open the door. Now, one of the concerns that people have with these steps is, oh, they're going to fall and they're going to crush me. Um, no, they're not. This thing holds its own weight. You actually have to literally push it down. It's not going to fall and hit you on the head. Um, stepping inside here, the fun doesn't stop. Of course, I need to take a pause real quick for the cause to close the door behind me. So, right when you walk in, I like that we've got all kinds of lights available right here. You can you can control all your lighting. Um, it's generator prepped, so you're gonna see that it currently has a 0.0, .0 hour readout, but it's, it's ready for a generator if you wanna add one. Um, you can control your water heater and everything right there. Now, the other thing you have access to right here is the, um, the one control system from LCI. Now you can also get, like you can operate your awning and your uh, slides and your leveling and lighting from right here. But the other thing you can do is you can get the free one control app for your phone. And basically anything you can do on that touchpad right there, you can do off your phone as well. So you can be outside, you can manipulate your levelers, you can open the awning from your patio chair without having to get up. You can walk back here, you can open the door to your bedroom, you can look at the bedroom and make sure that the bed's closing without crushing any open doors or anything like that. Because this is a huge six slide RV, that's something a lot of people miss. Oh, I knew I'd miss an extra set of lights, they got a little welcome back set of lights right here too. Um, there, you know, there's a lot of uh, things you can do with this, and they've given you a lot of nice, fun, easy ways to make it happen. So here's a look at that very diesel pusher-looking roof fixture. Uh, you're, you've got your whisper quiet air, and look at the uh, LED like trim track running uh, lights up top. 
these uh, indirect lights up here and that little indirect light in that ceiling fixture, they make the perfect night light if you do have someone sitting upstairs, which is one of the coolest parts about a front living room RV here at Halid RV, is that, uh, oops, I got more, more light switches. There's just so many lights in this thing. It lights up like a Christmas tree. But again, if you're going to be living in it full time, you don't want it to feel like a cave. Now, by the way, this you can walk in and right away you can see and feel this is all hardwood. That's another area that the pinnacle separates itself. Everything is real wood, not wrap styles. There's a big difference there. Um, so I talk about all the time how front living room, you can have these two hide beds but I rarely demonstrate it. So I thought, you know what, what a better time to do it than right now. These are dual opposing hide beds When they open, you can still sneak through the middle because this is a wide body coach. You have that extra six inches of room. Add extra six inches when you're living in it, guys, it makes all the difference. Now, uh, Jayco's include their handy little floating storage ottoman, which obviously matches the decor. The top can pop off there. But, I mean, these are big adult sleepers. You can sleep six adults in this. And when, uh, you know, if it's just the grandbabies, when they're sleeping over and you're back in your private bedroom, they've got entertainment. They've got a fireplace. They've got everything. They're going to love coming to Grandpa and Grandma's place. And they're actually going to be stoked that you don't have a bunkhouse. You know, if, if all you're going to do is occasionally accommodate a guest or a grandkid, don't get a bunkhouse. You're going to be really sad. Get something like this that has supplementary sleeping. I love that giant 40-inch fireplace. Uh, well, electric heating fireplace, as it were, with the air quotes. But that also has LED visuals. So if you just want to look like some smoldering logs without the heat, you can do that. Now, They've given you a choice here. When you want entertainment, the TV's on a power lift. You can easily raise that. The switch is right beside it. Now, up front here, if you're uh, a little bit curious, you do have a full night privacy shade. And I like that it's in a track, so it's not going to go anywhere. And, it, you know, easy lift. And I just lost the clip to my watch, which is now down inside of the entertainment center, never to be retrieved more than likely. So, anyway. And uh, camera's all dark and ugly because I'm not paying attention. So, full walk-in height up here, you know. With this this big extra tall vaulted ceiling, there's plenty of room in here, and I mean even the ceiling trim, the batten strips are way sharper than what you typically find. It's not just that cheap little thin piece of strip wood, and all the uh, LED lighting up top really helps just accent it every uh, everything. All hardwood, all sharp. Um, all of your windows have dual section day night shades, so if you want uh, privacy but you still want light, or you just want to block out the sun because you got a migraine, you can do that too. This is a power open closed heated massage, like very similar to a residential uh, individual like um, recliner love seat thing right here. You do need 110 power or generator to operate that, so keep that in mind. Uh, right next to it though, something I love, is they got the handy little USB chargers and the perfect little phone cubby to keep that charged up. And I'm flying through this fast, guys. There's a lot I haven't talked about, a lot I won't be able to hit. So uh, definitely don't hesitate to give our team a call here at Halid RV. Um, again, we carry a lot of different brands. We carry luxury fifth wheels from um, Highland Ridge, or also called Open Range. Um, Jayco's, obviously, we're a full-line Jayco dealer. We carry uh, a lot of your Keystones. There's a lot of good different RVs out there, but again, this is a true literal cut above. Um, it's, uh, you know, there, it's not like, oh, you're dumb for buying something else. This is not the least expensive RV on the market, but if you're, if you're looking for something big, spacious, you're going to live in it long term, this should be on the list. I love this, like, extra pantry right here. Now, I, I even like little, like, lighting within the pantry so you can see what you're doing, and that continues all the way up to the ceiling. Are you going to need a step stool to reach some of this? Absolutely. But it's there. It's better than wasted space. Giant convection microwave oven. You got a very residential style sealed burner stove top right here. The um, stove does not have like a tray you need to pull out to clean. It's just like at home. All you do is pull off the little black, um, you know, little cooking mesh right there and you're good to go. Um, you know, residential soft closed drawers. And there's so many drawers in this thing that the drawers have drawers in them. Uh, so, I mean, it looks like three, but it's actually five, six. And, uh, you know, you've got additional storage over here in the island, including uh, dedicated wastebasket space. And look at this awesome stainless sink. One, it's deep, which is nice. Two, it's huge. And three, it comes with fitted um, solid surface covers. And I like how they actually notch in place so they don't wiggle around. They're not going to slide off the countertop. Um, the, uh, you know, even this beautiful looking, it looks like a swan's neck high-rise faucet here. You, you might find a couple of these around different floor plans. You've got your uh, little pop-up power post and it's got a pair of residential outlets as well as a pair of USB plugs. And when you're done with it, she's just gone. She's out of the way. Now, your dining situation over here, this is very diesel pusher in nature again. You've got two full-time chairs because this is a couple's coach. 
But when you have guests, you have a pair of uh, guest chairs that can store either under the master bed in the back or in the rear master closet. And the table does extend with a hidden middle extension leaf. And again, if you feel like you're getting baked uh, alive over here, you can pull those shades. And pulling these shades actually gives you a more, uh, a greater increase in R value than double pane windows in an RV. I've actually done a specific video on that. Double pane windows in an RV is a bit of a fallacy. It doesn't do a whole lot for you, but boy, does it sure cost money. Now look at this. Lights are off in the bathroom. See that? But you want to sneak in here at night and look around. It's got a, uh, an inlaid LED lit sink with little um, like foot guide right here. So if you want to sneak into this thing at night and be able to use the bathroom, you can do so without disturbing your partner having to flip on lights to blind yourself. And just like in the uh, kitchen, we've got solid surface counter in here, a big stainless recessed sink, which is beautiful. The same tile backsplash as the kitchen. Um, porcelain foot flush stool, and you see a huge linen cabinet beside the uh, shower over here. And again, is that tall? Yes. Is it wasted? No. Um, bathroom on the lower deck is like the best thing ever for tall people like me. And notice this is a one-piece fiberglass shower, not a two-piece plastic shower. It's seamless. It's stronger. It's got a nice little seat. And I like that the door even opens the correct way. I see a lot of these when they're installed. It's like the door blocks the easy, obvious entry to the bathroom. I don't have that. I don't experience that here. Um, master bedroom in the back there is you know you've got your sliding privacy door right here so that uh you can turn on some lights you can really you know kind of just retreat and get away we've got our dual whisper quiet air again back here that's one of the things about a lot of fifth wheels most fifth wheels the the bedrooms in the upper deck and um the bedroom is like right next to the air conditioner so when you're hanging out in this big 70 by 80 true king bed with storage below and the air conditioner kicks on it's gonna roar like Katy perry it's gonna wake you up and, you know, you're not going to have a good night's sleep. Then you're going to be cranky the next day. Then you're going to bicker at each other. Then you're going to say, I hate this camper. I wish we never did this. Well, guess what? With Whisper Quiet Air, you're not going to get a divorce. That may be an extreme example. <laughs> I may have gone off topic a bit. So you'll notice even in the bedroom, everything's still all hardwood, hidden hinge cabinets. And this is a huge deep storage space above that uh, master uh, closet in the back here. Now, I love the giant mirrored panels. When they, uh, you're looking at both of them, it really opens up nice and bright in here. You can see you've got like sort of a his and hers side dresser. And there is your washer dryer hookups right there. Now, slide number six is a bonus storage and space giving bedroom uh, entertainment slide. So your TV is built in and I like that the TV is focused downward. It's pointing at your face when you're laying in the bed so you don't get neck strained. Now you've got all kinds of like um, phone charger hookups next to that and just again ridiculous extra dresser space. So uh, oh yeah right here in the slide out this is a very uncommon thing and I wanted to make sure I pointed this out I almost forgot. You have stands and outlets built into the slide out. And that is exceptionally uncommon in the RV business, guys. It's very difficult, very expensive to do that. So uh, people wanna just charge your phone or uh, if you have one of those traveler's friendly CPAPs, this one can get it done. That's the nice thing in the Pinnacle. You got your CPAP hookup, washer, dryer, everything. Washer, dryer, washer, dryer. My baloney has a name, it's B-O-L-O-G-N-A. Anyway. Obviously, with me singing like this, you've probably deduced that we're at the end of the video tour here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So, give our guys a call. You won't regret it. We only do everything at Haylet RV, whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, or everything in between. We are a one-stop, full-service dealer. Uh, I mean, we, we only do everything. We are your everything dealer, and we look forward to meeting with you. There is no such thing as being too far away to work with Haylet RV. So, give us a call. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.